Hey there everyone. I wanted to take a few minutes and go over um, something that I'm reading in my personal development and it's also a spiritual development because it goes over both. It teaches me how to be confident not only physically or mentally but also spiritually and I am striving to be healthier body, mind, and soul. It's not just about being physically healthy or nutritionally healthy. It's about being spiritually healthy. And when one is out of balance, they're all out of balance because the most important thing is my faith. And when I'm not healthy spiritually, I'm not healthy in any area because apart from God, I can't do anything. He gives me the strength and he places the desires in my heart. So. I'm going to share with you some of the stuff that has inspired me and I hope it helps you or motivates or inspires you. So here we go. So what would you define as confidence? According to Joyce Meyer and in The Confident Woman, she defines confidence as a person who is willing to learn because we know that through learning, we discover new things, we become stronger, we learn not to do certain things. So a confident person doesn't concentrate on their weaknesses, they concentrate on their strengths. What are you good at? What is something that is your strength? So that is something that would make you confident. Another thing that I found inspiring was that we spend so much time focusing on our weaknesses that we don't take enough time to focus on our strengths. So say, well for me personally, I struggle with certain forms of communications. Videos are a struggle for me because they are so far out of my comfort zone. but. Creativity, on the other hand, I'm really good at. So just because you're not good at something or you struggle with something doesn't mean to concentrate all your energy on what you struggle on. You also want to build your strengths and your weaknesses. So you constantly want to be growing. And that also is a characteristic of confidence. Another thing that Joyce Meyer talked about in our book is that confident people make a habit to be positive. Confidence and positivity line up the same. If you're confident, you are positive, or at least you're positive a majority of the time. You don't go around bashing yourself or others. You want to build people up and inspire them and help them make changes in their life. So another thing Joyce Meyer mentions is that confidence allows us to face life with boldness, openness, and honesty. It enables us to live without worry and to feel safe. It enables us to live authentically. So you don't want to go around being like someone else. You weren't created to be a clone. You were created to be you and be unique. You have a gift that no one else possesses on this earth. There is no one like you and you should celebrate that uniqueness and you should strive to be unique. Don't focus all your energy on trying to be someone you're not when you were created for something far more. And one of the final things that I'm gonna share with you guys today is that we need to believe in ourselves. It's not enough for others to believe in us. We have to believe in ourselves and what God has called us to do or where he's called us to be. So the Bible states that we are sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Philippians 4.13. So with Christ, we have the confidence and the strength to be who he created us to be and to do what he created us to do. 
So I hope this inspires you guys and I'll be sharing more of what I'm learning and taking away and um, I hope the video is okay. Like I said, this is so far out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to take some time to share it with you guys. So have a great night.